Let's talk about the two MK party members that were found guilty by the electoral court, but also not only were they found guilty, but also local, the, the, the electoral court decided that, you know what, we will sentence you, but suspend that sentence and you pay a fine and then you, you don't get arrested. So we'll suspend that for a period of five years, right? So uh, we will talk about that. Uh, there are quite a number of things that uh, it has been said about it. So give me your ear, lend me your ear. I'll tell you exactly. I'll take you through. Don't worry. But there's some things that I find them quite interesting in this one. Is that there, there were utterances that were made by some ANC members to be specific. My question is when the, those such were never found to be a, the violation of the constitution. The question is why? If they were not, never found to be a violation of the constitution, the question is why? It is very important to, to, to ask that because uh, we saw and we had let, and I still have the video anyway. Where ANC people said, ANC people said they will kill Zuma. They even sang a song talking about killing Zuma. If you are saying the one, yeah, the one for these two MK party members, such as Bonkose and the other guy, forgot his name, I'll tell you now. Already, Mr. Reddy. Uh, if you say that it, it look, they were inciting violence, then what about the ones from the ANC? What about the ones from the ANC where they say that um, where they said that Jacob Zuma will die before the general May of elections and boom, there was an accident? What about that? What does that amount to? You see, I don't understand this unless some of the ANC people were to be arrested. But unfortunately, or where to be sentenced to, or with the suspended sentence. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But wait, what's the case? This is the case. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details. To donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed oh yes 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 so the statement reads as follows it says uh wait let me read it thank god merit mr red's statement 39 in terms of section 27 of the act mk has nominated mr reddy as one of its candidates for the national election scheduled 29 may mr reddy is an active member of the party and on 5th march 2024 whilst applications were pending before the wazalo natal division of the uh, of the high court deben um, in this court he made the following statement whilst being interviewed by journalists it's not the EFF, it's not the DA, it's not the IFP, it's not other party except MK. Right? So they are trying all tricks. They are going to they are going to court. They want to stop MK from local from registering. But MK, please, ANC, listen. MK is umkonto we suizwe. You are talking about the military veteran association which the ANC disbanded years ago. It's not the same. You don't have the trade remark on the MK logo. So what gives you the right to claim that MK party belongs to you? You got no chance in court, but we are sending a loud and clear message that if this cause, which are sometimes captured, if they stop MK, there will be an anarchy in this country. There will be riot like you have never seen before 
like you have never seen in this country. There will be no elections. No South Africa will go to the look poll if MK is not on the ballot pa paper. My emphasis, right? It then says, the application says, it is common sense, uh, sorry, it's common cause that the vi a video recording of Mr. Red's statement was widely published and distributed on social media. The video was viewed by 138,000 people when the statement was made. Mr. Red was wearing an MK party regalia and was surrounded by uh, persons wearing similar clothing. It is, co look, it is contended by the commission that a reasonable and informed observer will understand the statement to mean that if the court decide in favor of the ANC then, A, there will be anarchy in South Africa. B, there will be riot of an unprecedented scale, or, 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 look, or on an unprecedented scale. And C, the upcoming elections will not take place. Another video, another video recording also of Mr. Reddy was uh, disseminated on social media in early March 2024, making statement uh, look inter entalia, that if MK was not allowed to campaign, that then will be a civil war. No one will go and vote. Okay. Uh, okay. Then let's look. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm, I'm continuing reading, guys. Just give me, give me a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Yes, now we are on Mr. Canelo's statement. For one, Mr. Canelo was on the national uh, was a national was the national coordinator of the MK uh, Youth League and was appointed as a leader of the Youth, Le Youth League. On the 3rd of March 2024, whilst agent application on the ANC were pending before the court, he stated in Talia, we are not scared of Sura Ramaphosa, uh, the, like the Barrett and the army. Let, look, let, me tell you and, uh, let me tell you and proclaim this, comrade. If they remove the MK party on ballot, look, if they remove the, look, the ballot on, uh, look, of MK, they remove President Zuma as the president of our uh, of our fact of our fact of campaign, and try to make the right the, the right which enshrined in Chapter Two of the Constitution current. There won't be elections in South Africa. There won't be elections in South Africa. Let me repeat. This is so that when we are when we are arrested, they can use it as an evidence in court because they always use our videos. Comrades, comrades, you must believe in what I'm telling you. This leadership is leadership which is genuine. We mean what we say and we say what we mean. For the defense of this democracy, we are willing to lay down our lives. Chapter 2 of the Constitution we have the freedom of choice, freedom of association, a right to choose, right to choose our president to associate with any logo, to wear any kind of t-shirt, to campaign in any way we want to campaign, any way we want, and choose a party of our choice. Because you can, because you can uh, smell a defeat, because you know that you are defeated, you now take us into court because you know that Zondo is not only a spy, he is a scammer, he is a fraud lawyer, he is going, look, is going to want a, a, a look to infiltrate, uh, wait, uh, right. He's going to want to infiltrate and change the constitution to remove us on ballot. Remove MK party on ballot, remove Zuma on ballot, there won't be elections. <laughs> because we have numbers on our side, we are fearless. For these elections to be free and fair, it look it will have um controversies and Zuma as our choice. We are prepared to lay down our lives. 
It is contended, like a close quote, sorry. It is contended by the applicant that the video of Mr. Kanyele was also widely published. Over 242, over 242,000 people watched it. Um, it is in this, it is in, it is in this statement that triggered the complaint by the ANC. The, uh, the, the complaint originally was for the alleged breach of code of code of conduct and unlawful conduct that posed a threat to the upcoming election. Okay. In defense of this statement, the third responded filed an answering affidavit and both Masredi and Kanyele filed a confirmatory affidavit. The respondent contended that the commission has failed in its in its honors to in its honors to include look to exclude that a reasonable and informed observer and understand the um the the, the, the comments to mean. Okay. So after that, they said then. The following order is granted. It is found first, it is found that the first and the second respondent contravene section 87 bracket 1 bracket A bracket B and bracket C and 87 bracket 2 of the electoral court. 2. The first and the second respondent are ordered to pay a fine of 150,000 each. This fine is this fine look wait, wait. they are ordered to pay a, a fine of 150,000 and this fine is suspended for a period of 5 years from the date of this order on the following conditions. 1 that the two respondents do not contravene section 87, paragraph 1, or 87, Sorman. Why I'm saying paragraph? Uh, that the two respondents do not, do not contravene section 87, bracket 1, or 87, bracket 2 of the Electoral Act, um, 87 of 1988, during the period of suspension. And two, that the two respondents do not make any any statement that are in, that are intended to undermine the integrity of any electoral process during the period of suspension. Three, counter application is dismissed. Four, each party to pay its own cost. That's the order. So, in other words, the five hundred fifty thousand is suspended. They went out in court. They were not charged. They want out free, right? I'm sure other people are like, yeah, you should have charged them. You should have charged them. I'm sure they are angry. You know what I'm saying? You should have charged them. Why? This charge is not fair. Well, I don't know. I don't know whether they are fair or not. One thing I know for a fact, as a matter of fact, is that the, uh, look, the, the, uh, the complainant is also has also contravened. And I'm surprised that MK Party has not reported these to uh, the very same people because there were videos, and I have them, where they said that they would kill Zuma. You know what I'm saying? Now the question is, the ANC becomes the complainant. Whilst the ANC themselves, they are not clean. So that's, to me, it's an interesting. Not funny, but interesting. Let me, def let, let, let me say it again. It's not funny, but th th interesting to me that you yourself, you have contravened this law. You yourself, you are guilty, but you are there. You know, you know what I'm saying? You are there. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know whether it's me or what. Maybe the MK now, they need to start doing things probably the way e e e look, ANC is doing things to say, oh, so you guys are reporting us. Uh, not we should take you to court because, huh, but also the suspension as well, what it means. Um, because it's the same thing that we saw with uh, Umash al the one who were EFF. Uh, what does it mean? Does it mean that they will no longer participate in, uh, they, will no longer, they are not eligible to go to parliament? What does it mean? Because they, were, they never served the sentence. The, the sentence is suspended. The fine is suspended for a period of five years. So does it mean that they cannot participate in parliamentary issues? What does it mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. 
it's just one of those questions that I have to say. What does it mean to their political career? I know that they can remain within the MK party. Also, they will be campaigning for the local elections. You know what I'm saying? Sonje, I know that it means a lot. But yeah, when, what do you think? Get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think about everything. Right? You and I will see each other on the next one.